Yay! Hello everyone, Toby from AbletonDrummer.com here. So I have this new device, the SPDSX Session Controller, and I want to show you how you can actually um, be very flexible with firing clips here. So I just set up this little thing here, which is um, just clips from the Loopmaster mixtape, which uh, was a free pack from Ableton Live. Um, it's discontinued now, so uh, if you're lucky you download it um, before you have those loops on your hard drive already. Okay, so let's have a quick listen what's happening here. Get your bags off the wall. We have a few clips here, some piano stuff, some steps, some bass. Nice. Okay, so let's say we want to control, like these are 14 clips in total and usually if you play live, obviously you have a few more clips in here. Um, so, but you only have up to nine pads on your SPD6. And let's say you even just want to use a few of those. Let's say you just want to use six pads here. Um, this becomes a little bit tricky if you want to do it via the SPDSX on your own. You can change all the MIDI notes and map all the MIDI notes to different clips. Yeah, it's possible, but it's, let's put it this way, it's not that quick. And it's not that like um, you don't have a nice overview. If you're coming back to a different set you might have uh, created a few months ago and you don't know what's actually happening in there. So for this, the SPDSX Session Control is a great tool besides for other things as well. Okay, so let's quickly set this up. So let's say I want to control um, all those clips here um, in different states and different presets and I don't want to change anything on my SPDSX, I just can do this via Ableton Live. So let's do this real quick. So I have um, a few beats here, so let's put them on a few pads. First we need to train the SPDSX control um, device here, so you need to make sure that the clip or the track the device is sitting on um, you just open the window, um, that this track is actually receiving the MIDI you are sending in here. So if we open up the in and out view, um, all ins, let's set this to the port you're actually using, let's set this to in, and now you can see when I'm hitting my pad, I'm getting some MIDI coming in here. You can use the arm here as well, but um, I highly advise you to use the monitor in only because then it's not recording any MIDI. If you're um, if you're triggering a scene, for example, and if you have the arming on, it might record on the scene depending on what you've put into your preferences. So, just putting the monitor to in, you know, fine, MIDI is being received. So now you just need to set up the um, pads on the device or your pads from your SPDSX to be received inside the device. So let's do this real quick. So you just need to select the note in and then you select, um, you activate the pad you want to use, just toggle this one on and then you press S and then you just hit the pad and the MIDI note you are sending now from your SPDSX is being received and synced automatically. So you can do this real quick with like um, uh, a few pads here. Let's just use those um, six pads here just to keep things simple for now. Chuck, and that's it. So now those pads here are being mapped and you can see when I'm hitting my pads, um, the device will um, light up red depending on where I'm hitting so I get a nice monitor here as well. So now let's say for the first section here I want to map six pads so I can just um, set all of those to clips. I want to map clips. So um, now let's say I want to put like um, the intro beat, this clip, onto this track. I just need to press D for detect and it's already synced here. So let's take the full beat, select the full beat, and then press D for the pad we want to map it to. Bam, and now it's already mapped. So if you're now hitting this pad, 
it will trigger the full beat. Nice one. Okay, so um, let's do this with the bass as well. Let's select high B one, a uh, high beat. That's high beat. Um, maybe let's leave them for later and let's just take some bass. So uh, let's um, map those two. I just select the clip and then just go to the pad. I want to map, I press D and it's showing me the names, which is great. So let's take a few steps here for the other one. So select step one, bam, map now already. And let's take steps two for the next one. And yes, because I'm running, I'm recording my screen. There is a little bit of um, funkiness happening here with my computer. So you can see the loading time is quite long. That's because I'm using uh, a screencast, I'm doing a screencast here. So my computer is struggling a little to capture this okay. all. So let's get back to this first setup we got here. So now I could say, okay, this is my first preset, my first state on this device. And I just gonna call this Jam uh, one maybe. So I typed in the name here, press enter, and now I have this set to Jam one. So now if I have Jam one selected, those things I just set up will happen via my SPDSX. So I can now go to a second preset and create a second preset. And I have a few ways on how to change between presets on the device. I have those arrows here. I can go up and down. I could MIDI map those arrows here as well. And what's really nice for the SPDS X, I can set up an, a um, MIDI control change so that my um, SPDS X, if I press the delay or filter, I can actually go this, do this going one up and one down. So I'm now pressing the delay and the filter, and this will change my presets in the device as well. So let's set up a few more things for the second jam. So let's quickly name this second jam. Um, just put in the name in here and now you can see the name will change. I'm just changing the um, preset states it's called in the device just via my filter and delay button here. So that's quite handy. You can automate the changes here as well. You can use any other external MIDI um, as well to um, go to different presets here on the device. Okay, so let's set up a few more things. So in the second jam, let's pick another beat here. Maybe let's pick this beat here. And it's mapped now already. So and let's map the full beat to here. Um, maybe let's now have some high beat on the next pad and have this bass um, on the next pad. So I'm just selecting the clip and then just press D and that's all I need to do. So um, let's have this piano stuff here happening on um, this other one here as well. Maybe let's put this down here. And I need to make sure that the detect is only um, being switched on for one thing here. So I now select the piano stuff. And it's all a bit funky due to um, my screen recording here. So let's select long steps. And let's put those on this pad here. So now I already can start to jam. Let me get a drumstick. So now let's jam a little. Um, go into jam one, for example, and let's start the first beat. Start a bass. Let's have some steps happening. And now I switch the steps off again and on again. And off again.
and another beat. And some more steps. Really nice. So now I want to go to the next jam I set up. So I press delay on my XPS X and the device is changing to all those different things I set up in here. Just turn the first beat off. Let's switch on the piano. And let's switch on the next beat and bass. Yeah. So you get the full picture here. It's really quick and easy to set up. And the beauty is if you're coming back, you have this window here showing you what you set up um, weeks ago, month ago, years ago, maybe even. So um, this is really nice to if you're coming back to a jam, you can set up a lot of clips in here. You get like up to 128 presets you can set up in the device itself. You don't need to change anything on your SPDSX. If you're coming back a few weeks later and you can't remember exactly which MIDI notes you use, you just quickly train the device to the MIDI notes which are on your SPDSX in your current kit. Done. Okay, so have fun with the device. It's available, a link in the video description, obviously. And um, yes, happy. Enjoy. <laughs> 